Hi guys, how are you? This is Jordan O'Neill here, um, Wheelcastle Decorating. I done a short video yesterday on hand painted kitchens. And yesterday uh, I was working in this small area here. Um, if you can remember, uh, this had two coats of primer. These doors, there's four doors here. One, two, three, four. And you have a wee in closing up in here. And uh, like I explained yesterday, so basically what I had to do was I had to degrease it all. You know, it's an old kitchen, so it all had to be cleaned down. Very, very important to, I use a, a, a degreaser called SEP. You can actually get it in a screw fix. It's fantastic stuff. There's a nice fresh smell of it as well. Spray it on, couple of clean cloths, wipe it down. After you clean it, then get a damp cloth and wipe it all off. Make sure the surface is spotless. Afterwards, you get uh, a thin sandpaper, sand it all down, dust it, and then get one of these here, little tack cloths here, as you can see. They're very tacky, and wipe all the fine dust off. So the primer I use is um, called, it's Color Trend. I use all Color Trend paints, uh, and I'm not just saying this, it's excellent. They have four primers, Prime 1, Prime 2, Prime 3, Prime 4. Prime 2 has epoxy in it, so basically what it does, if you have a shiny surface, after you clean it all down, it bonds to the surface. So, uh, you know, a while down the line, after you finish painting it, it won't chip when you put your finished paint over it. But very important to put two coats of primer on. And again, uh, take your time, and uh, basically that's it. Now, this area here, has had two primers and one finished coat. It's a color chain color, it's very light. It's a light gray, as you can see, it's very nice. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you the whole kitchen here, what I have done, what I've done so far. So I'll just lift the phone here. Um, so as you can see, I'll just walk around here. That's this area here, okay. And always make sure, as you can see, you're, uh, there's a, a, a worktop there. Make sure it's all covered up, nice clean sheets. This bottom area is all primed as well, two coats. Over here, you can see I have a nice area here. You have glass doors there and three doors at the bottom. Those drawers, I will be taking them off, taking the handles off and painting those. So I won't be painting those on, they all come off. And on this side of the kitchen, you have your fridge, all your cupboards here. Uh, in around your oven area, around your cooker, the hood area here. So this has all been cleaned down and has had two coats of primer. So it is a big enough kitchen. But I'm just concentrating on one area here for you. So I'll just put that tack there. So that whole area has been primed, I say. So it's all been wiped down, as uh, I say. I like to, I'm trying to keep everything very simple for you. Get a degreaser. Wash it all down, get good brushes, uh, a good roller for doing all the flat areas. And after you roll it, lay it off with uh, a very good brush, fine bristles, so you don't see the brush marks. Also, what I mentioned yesterday, um, we have this stuff here. It's called uh, Odorol, and it's a paint conditioner. You have one for oil-based paints and you have one for water-based. This is for, it's called Floaterol and it's for water-based. And you put in about 10% of the paint that you're using and mix it. Gives you a smooth finish. Um, it definitely does help the paint. It, it really is good stuff. If you Google it, it'll tell you everything that it does. Honestly, it's very, very good. Well worth getting, especially if you're doing hand-painted kitchens. So, um, actually, I'm near out of this here, so I need to get a new one of those. Um, after you mix your paint, put a drop in a paint kettle. Uh, put a drop in a nice clean roller tray. Small roller, mohair roller. Make sure there's no hair coming out of it. It has to be really clean. Okay. Now, so, as you can see, this door here i done earlier on. You can see this middle one. Uh, it's had two coats, so it's had three coats in total, two primer, one finished coat, okay. Uh, so what I'll do is, 
I do this door here. I'll just move this camera around and let you see here. So I'm going to do this door here for you here. It's a bigger door. Again, get your brush. Here we size two, and there you go. Do your edges first, okay? Just a nice smooth finish. And I think, like I said on the video yesterday, don't, don't, you know, uh, this is all about, you know, you have to live in your home. You know, um, it's a kitchen. It's not supposed to look, you know, big thick brush marks, big thick roller marks, you know. You, you, re you really do need to have a nice smooth finish. And all those things that I suggest, it clean down, use a good primer and uh, a real good quality paint. As I say, I use color 10, so I'll do. So I'll just, um, I'll just set the camera up here so you can actually see what you're, a wee bit better here, what we're doing. On the store. There we go. As you can see, get all the edges done. So, like I say, as I do your edges first, Take your time. When you put that uh, paint conditioner in, it does give you plenty of working time with your paint. It, it runs dry quick. So, you know, you've, you've working time, so you can actually go onto the edge of the, the door there. So just do what I'm doing and you'll be fine. Um, and like I say yesterday, I have been doing these a long time. And, you know, when you're, a DIYer, and you want to do your own kitchen, you really do need to take your time. All I'm trying to do here is maybe give you a few tips, try and help you out, you know. Um, some of these guys on YouTube, you know, whenever they're doing it, uh, they actually think everybody's a painter, and, and you can do it as quick as diamonds, and that's not just the way, that's not the way it works. So get your roller under your door, like so. There we go. After you do that, again, get your two inch brush, uh, or that's an inch and a half, sorry, or you can use a two inch brush. I prefer an inch and a half, okay. And lay, you know, after you roll your panel, lay it off, like so. Very, very light. There you go. And as you can see, you, I'll just bring the, I'm going to use my phone here, so let's have a wee look. You can see the finish that you have on that, a nice smooth finish, you know. Okay. Now, so after you do your edges, roll your main panel, lay it off. And then do your edges here at the top. There you go. And again, take your tag and just lay it off. And just quickly, what I will mention if I open this door here, you have a flat edge here, okay, and underneath. So I will be um, taking the doors, I'll be taking the doors off. Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday, you can't get a rack, set them on and let them dry. But what I do is I just set out lining paper and mark at the top of the lining paper which store goes where. It does a job for me. That's, I've always done it that way and I'm happy with that. Everybody does their hand painted kitchens their own way and that's the way I do it, you know. So this wee edge here, when the door's off, it's far easier for me to do it. When the door's off, so uh, when I'm, when the door's on, I take it to this area here. So I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for you. Okay, right. bring this edge down here, as you can see.
on the other edge. And as you can see, that paint, this paint, it's hard to believe, you know, I was probably one of the very few painters in the trade that would have said, uh, I will work with a water-based paint. But take my word for it, these paints are fantastic. They dry quick, there's no fumes. You get a real, you get an oil base finish on them. They are fantastic, a real fantastic paint. There you go, give that wee edge there. Okay. And this is just really, I'm just giving you a, a brief uh, idea on how to go about a hand painted kitchen. I will get into it in more detail. Um, you know, but I think at the moment I've kept it pretty simple for yourselves. So, as I say, so whenever you do those four edges, bring this one across here very lightly. Bring your brush across there very lightly. And then follow it down nice and smooth. Like so. And like so. And there you go. So, that's this door done, and this door done. So that's two doors we have done. Just turn this around here, like so. Now, we just have this one to do. So that's one, two, three, okay, and then I have one here to do. So by the time I get these finished, you know, uh, let them dry overnight, then they're ready for a fourth coat. So I'll just give you an idea of the finish that you have on them. If I can just lift the camera here and show you the sheen and the smooth finish that you have on those doors. You know, they really are a, a, a lovely finish, you know, and they also have to get another coat as well. And what a full wall finish on is uh, as I say, normally when I do a kitchen, I have all the doors off. But um, this customer I'm working for, uh, we've been decorating this whole house. We've been doing all the ceilings, all the walls, all the woodwork. And there, there's very little room because we're moving furniture from one room to the other. So these doors have to get a finished coat. So I'm able to take those off and I'm going to do the backs. Okay, so while the doors are off, Okay, you know, um, people say you have to take all that out, but you don't really, you know, no, there's no, there's not much of a mess, there really isn't. When you're neat and tidy, it's on a bit of fine dust. If you want to take it out, take it out, but if you open these doors here, when I have all the doors off, all these wee edges here, then I'll do them, you know, so, um, Again, the doors have to be off to do that. But I'm just giving you a wee sample on you know, what you can get done. So, as I say, um, that's two coats on those doors there. And if you just have a wee look at the finish, you can get a beautiful finish on those doors. So, um, what I will do is, I'll do another video um, when I have all the doors off. Uh, I'll take them off. I'll show you what way I do it, or I lay them out, and um, probably in another couple of days, I'll put a third video up. And I hope, I hope, I hope I've been, it's been helpful showing you uh, a few of the basics here. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye.